Welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green. So, last time we just spent most of our time in the pan bush after we got to Six Island. And... Doesn't look like there's a hidden item yet. Alright. <laughs> I thought there would be, so... I thought I forgot to pick it up last time, but apparently I didn't. So anyway, we're just gonna speed our way through the pan bush. Because, yeah, there's still a little bit more that we can do in this part of Six Islands, so let's go! And yeah, I did already file the trainers, I do believe. So yeah, now we're on the other side of the green path, and now we need to go this way. Okay, so... no new wild Pokemon, sorry, but we have this person. Huh? I was envisioning my house, but this is where I teleport. Huh. <laughs> Anyway, she has a not to. And I got my Estelle. So I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. So, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I just need to beat this trainer now. Not much else really to say. I got a Slowbro, which is pretty cool. Please, up on the ball on that. I do feel like maybe a spell shouldn't be in the front, but I guess we'll find out. Of this battle. Anyway, we got the leftovers. Now we just go Thunderbolt. And check out the Slowbro. See, so yeah, we don't actually one shot see so yeah. Pretty good special bulk on that thing. And next up is Kadabra. So I'm gonna go for my Stab Surf to try and take it out. There we go. Big boo boo. <laughs> I'm so scared, Brain. I need to focus so I can teleport properly to my house. Alright, done. Yeah, everyone's level 53, so I guess it's alright then. Just double check that. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's just continue on with our journey. <laughs> now we wanna go up. We go to Outcast Island. I will say one thing about um this surveillance, they have some pretty cool names for their routes, I guess. It's not so easy spending sending Pokemon out while swimming, you know? Yeah. You definitely can't do what you're doing in <laughs> the battle scene, but anyway. I have a Meryl, so I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt on it. And we take it out, no problem. I didn't lose to you at Swain, this doesn't bother me. <laughs> That's what they all say. And you got a double out here. Big sister, help! Please bow with me! You got Geb, oh god. <laughs> Alpha and Gep, and the Apollywell and Stami. I got my own Stami and Wipe. It's still, of course. Uh, let's go for Thunderbolt and Dragon Claw. Just make sure the Stami goes down. Because yeah, I'm less. <laughs> I'm actually less scared of the Apollywell. Oh yeah, something I should have mentioned about Poliwell. I actually didn't know this, but it's faster than its two evolutions. I didn't even realize that <laughs> until now. That's 90 speed, and then its evolutions are 70 speed. So yeah, that's kind of strange. I actually didn't think that they um, did stuff like that this early, but apparently... Um, by this early, I mean like, there are a lot of evolutions nowadays that lower the speed of the evolution, but I didn't think that was a thing this early in the series, so... Anyway, defeat them. Wow, big sister, this person is really good. Well, you gotta save yourself. I'm hanging on, I'm hanging on to my sister because I can't touch the bottom. You know, I do prefer the sea of any pool. That is very strange. <laughs> the sea looks like a difficult place. Hey, anyway, repel war off, let's put up another one. What we got here? 
gas glass. I saw him here for a six hour port in one go. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something, right? He got Mimo, that's a strange name, and he has a Kingler. So we'll give him a Thunderbolt, and there he goes. Okay, level 54. And you got a War Total, so I can go for another Thunderbolt. And take it out. There we go. <laughs> gas, gas. I'm only at the halfway point, Pete. Oh, that's a, that's all a uh, depressing sign, by the way. I'll put Estelle in the back now, and let's use Wyvern in a water again. <laughs> Ooh, a rocket run. There's no red poker run, this one's not a one. That burns me up, man. I'll take it out on you. Interesting. <laughs> that does give me like a small idea that we can do after this. Alright, let's give this guy a flamethrower. He gets burnt, which is nice. Screech. I'm annoying, but yeah. So you take out the muck, no problem. What's he got now? Golbat, of course. And down that goes very nice. And what's his last Pokemon? Uh, we're trying to learn Dragon Rage. That's not a very good move. It only does 40 damage. At this point in the game, it's very good. I believe that Charmander line learns it a little bit earlier in um, later games. Anyway, I'll go for over here, take out the Rackate. And there you go. Huh? So let's see, I haven't seen any rare Pokemon, have you? Well, we have been catching a lot of Chodo Pokemon, but yeah. Okay, so let's go inside this cave. This is Altering Cave. So, this place isn't much special to us. Uh. You'll see why in a little bit. As I like run around, there's no items in this place, even though you think there would be. I have to repel up, but I need to show what the random encounter is in this place. So anyway. So yeah, let's just give it a little bit. Alright, there we go. So, what do we run into an altering cave? It's gonna be nothing but Zubat. But the thing about this place though, is that, um, as the name suge would suggest, um, the encounters change. How do they change exactly? Well, from what I can tell, uh, also yeah, you can't use the versus seek on a rocket crud, that's good to know. So yeah, uh, there's still an item we can get though, so we're gonna go do that. So yeah, from what I can tell, if you do some Pokemon events, then it changes the encounters. So, and actually, you can get a pretty good amount of Pokemon. The thing about these Pokemon is that they're also available in Colosseum. I think most of them are. Hey, let's fight you. I'm having no luck at all, but <laughs> will be a change of pace. Yeah, most of these Pokemon are also in Colosseum, because Colosseum has a lot of Jota Pokemon, and all these are Jota Pokemon, as you would guess. So yeah, the Pokemon are Mareep, Pineco, Houndour, Hediesa, Apom, Shuckle, Stantler, and Smiggle. 
Nia. Actually, some of these Pokemon are also in um, Emerald, actually. In the post game of that game, so yeah. So yeah, and because I can't legitimately... Because <laughs> this game is so old, and it's going to be impossible to um, like show any of those events. Yeah, I'm not going to be talking about those Pokemon I mentioned. I'm only gonna be focused on Pokemon that actually, you know, you can get normally, so yeah. Yeah, anyway, find this guy with a cool fish. And there you go. And that's the end of him. Nope, no luck at all. And for our trouble, we get a PP up, so that's number three, so I can boost the PP of another move. And I think I'm gonna do Psychic actually. I'm a strange choice, but um, I guess I could also do flamethrower too. There's a lot of options with this. I just realized. Um, yeah, I'll do psychic <laughs> favoritism. There we go. And that's the last thing here, so let's go fly back to Six Island, the town. Let's go heal. While I get uh, look at the next area that we need to go to. Okay, so yeah, I had a little look, and yeah, there are some new Pokemon in the next area, so yeah. I'm not so sure if we're going to be able to see them, because yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon in this route, and um, because of that, um, yeah, I might not be able to show all of them, but I will talk about all of them. So anyway, here is actually a hidden item, a final berry. And over here, we have another trainer. So yeah, I'm gonna use Bernie. Tell me, where are the mounds around these spots? <laughs> You've got Earl, he's an Onyx. That should be easy to take out. So we do just that. <laughs> Next up is a Marchuk, so I'll go for a turn on it. And yeah, that was a decent amount. And we take the return on the return to revenge, no problem. And we go for another return to take it out. That Sil Scuff we got might also be not too bad with this return, but yeah. Anyway. I lost my way while I was busy battling. Alright. Here we have Ruin Valley. So we actually got a uh, free new Pokemon to talk about. A pretty decent amount. Over here we have a strength puzzle, so yeah, we're gonna need to use that. When I start encountering them in the wild, that's when I wanna talk about them. Anyway, you get it by doing that, I believe, and you get a Sunstone, which is cool because that evolves um, Oddish, or not Oddish, Gloom into a Blossom. Yeah, here's one of them, Yanma. So let me get Yanma's information. I'll also try to catch her, I guess. But yeah, we're gonna need to do it from full health. So anyway, one of Yanma's um, unique qualities is you're gonna see it right now. No, actually. <laughs> Sometimes it has a ability that makes it really unique. So, 
I don't remember where it is in the Pokedex. Like at all. <laughs> I guess I'll have to catch it and then we'll figure it out. Yeah, while well that happens, that's for an Ultra Ball. But yeah, we saw a train it used one, and yeah, it did show off what's called that. Okay, I found it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't want to be caught. That's not great. Alright, let's talk, start talking about Yanma. So Yanma, this one is compound ice, which yeah, that's a good ability, but... Um, it's other ability is probably better in this generation, and that is speed boost. So, speed boost. What it does is that uh, Yanma will raise its speed by one stage at the end of each turn. Which is really good. Makes Yama extremely fast. If it flaps its wings really fast, it can generate shockwaves that will shatter windows in the area. It's pretty metal. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, let's continue. Uh, unfortunately, everything else about Yanma isn't so great. It has. It's a bug flying type and. Stats are very mediocre. 65 HE, 65 attack, 45 defense, 75 special attack, 45 special defense, and 95 speed. So yeah, it doesn't hit very hard, and yeah, it might have trouble actually hurting things. Unfortunately, its level up moves don't really help either. Nothing great. Like, wing attack is like one of its best moves. Its level up moves set, which is not good. <laughs> it gets hypnosis, which is kind of cool. With compound eyes, actually, so... There's some synergy there. Detect is good with, um... Detect is a good move with, uh... What am I trying to say? It is not to the tiny Pokemon, because its wings aren't yet fully grown. It has to hop to get around. It is always staring at something. I talk about that Pokemon. So, Detect works a speed boost. It does get some interesting TMs, but yeah... One of its... First things it can do is um, is potentially use reversal, but it doesn't get endure. So and she does it get endure. You can get endure, but not in this game because yeah, with speed boost, it can definitely outspeed like most of the Pokemon, and then just endure reversal everything. But yeah, that can be stopped with priority, so that's a problem. Um, I can't escape. From the Sphera. That's not great. Anyway. And yeah, a lot of it's good moves also egg moves. You can get Silver and Signal Beam, but yeah, even with those moves, I doubt it's gonna do that much damage. So yeah, Yanma, it's also a member of the club. In next generation it gets a very much needed evolution with two really good abilities. I mean Common Eyes is good in this game with hypnosis, but yeah. It gets tinted lens, which is actually also really good. Even a speed boost looks like the absolute best. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, let's talk about the next Pokemon, which we caught. It's the most common Pokemon here too, Natu, a psychic flying type, so a pretty unique type. Ah, oh, here's the last Pokemon. I've got some things to talk about it. Anyway, before we do that, let's talk about Natu. So, the second flying type, too, it's both its abilities are pretty cool. Synchronize could be nice. Early bird, too. The only problem is, is it doesn't have its hidden ability, which is amazing. It's magic bounce. Anyway. Yeah, I'll wait till Gen 5 for that. Anyway, level up moves, it does get... Um, Psychic Veil level up, which is cool. It evolves at level 25. Yeah, Yama doesn't evolve, like I said. It is Warpathet. It hates light and shock. If attacked, it inflates its body to pump up its counter strike. And yeah, a lot of my Pokemon being moved to plus 14. But anyway. Um, so, Zatu. Um, let's focus on Zatu. It does on Psychic Veil level up, but it's like really late, so I recommend using the TM instead. Um, it's level 65, so yeah, unless you want to wait for that long, I reckon TM. Battle V is so high up. <laughs> Everything else is not super interesting. I guess Wish is interesting, because not many Pokemon get that move. The Pseudo Udo. <laughs> Pretty weird Pokemon. Anyway, let's go drain it. 
Uh, TM-wise, there's some interesting stuff. Carmine, of course, screens. Giga Drain, even. You can give it Lace 2 if you want, which I actually did in my Emerald playthrough. So that was interesting. Oh, the heartbreak of losing so easily to you. Anyway, more strength. And we get a full restore, very nice. So... We also got Thunder Wave with the move tutor. We got some cool egg moves like Drill Pack, but yeah. Stat-wise, it's kind of average. 95 special attack, 95 speed isn't too bad, but um, its other stats aren't like amazing. It only has 75 attack, so it's not bad with flying type moves, but yeah, it's not like amazing either. Its stats are just really average. So yeah, not a terrible Pokemon, but it's definitely not going to stand out as much as the premier psychic types, even with that flying typing. Flying typing is cool, but doesn't like synergize amazingly with psychic. So, unless you're flying a fine type, fine types really struggle against that type combination, as you accept. Is H3 up? Probably sell that. Here's a maniac. I'm pretty familiar with the lad around these parts. So, yeah, like I said, I like this Pokemon. I used it in Emerald for the first time, and yeah, I've always liked this Pokemon, so I wanted to use it, and yeah, I did, and I was pretty impressed with it. Did a lot better than I expected, despite this thing before the physical and special split. But A, it got a lot more moves in its arsenal, and B, it get, can use its flying stab with special moves. But yeah, like I said, I like this Pokemon, but yeah, it doesn't stand out as much as the really good psychic types, because it's so average. Then we got the last Pokemon. <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, Kangaskhan is endure. So anyway, here it is. What the fuck? A psychic type. <laughs> type really doesn't matter, but uh, for what what the fuck does. Except for like what sweetnesses are, but anyway. Hector's feared, you don't need to be so pushy, I'll be happy to tell you. Interesting. I guess we can talk to him. The door to the ruins, it has these strange pants engraved on the outside. I don't know what they mean though. Oh, I think I know what they mean, <laughs> and I'm not going to be very happy. But anyway, that's okay. So in World of Fett, it has the Shadow Tag ability. One of the most controversial abilities in all of Pokemon. It prevents everything from switching out. It was changed to Gen 4, I believe. There appear to be many secrets still involved in this one. It was changed to Gen 4 so that Two Pokemon Shadow Attack can switch out. That was to stop something in this game that could happen. Which I guess I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. And then in Gen 6, it was changed that Ghost. It, there's a change that Ghost type Pokemon can escape any move that traps. So that also includes Arena Trap. But anyway, Shadow Tag. It works amazingly well with what Wobbuffet does. And what Wobbuffet does is it's only four moves. But technically, it has a few more moves thanks to its pre evolution that was introduced in Gen 3. But anyway, that's a home Pokemon, of course. And we're just gonna keep bunnaranging this man. <laughs> yeah, those moves are Counter, Mirror Coat, Safeguard, and Destiny Bond. So here's the idea with Wobbuffet its stats. It has kind of low defense at 58, but it has a massive 190 HP. So basically, what it does is you attack it, and then it it, count, it counters you back with either counter or miracle. Counter is for physical attacks, and miracle is for special attacks. Here's a golem. First time playing one of those. <laughs> anyway, its other stats don't matter because it's slow, but counter and miracle always go last. I guess it's not great for uh, Destiny Bond, but then again, I think Destiny Bond might be priority, I can't remember. It's been so long since I bow, my instincts are off. So yeah, uh, and even though its defenses don't look very good, it will, it can and will survive some pretty good attacks. So it's said that there are mysterious stones on the side, I suspect that has something to do with the runes here. 
your attack isn't super effective, it's gonna probably not knock out the wall effect and then it's gonna kill you in turn, which is not fun at all. And you can't switch out either, so... Yeah, you need to make sure that whatever comes in on Wob Effect can actually do something to it. Otherwise, you're gonna be in for a world of pain. Luckily though, there are some outs to Wob Effect. You can status it before it gets safeguard off, and it'll just die a slow, painful death. Um, you can also use a Ghost type with physical moves, because it can't use calendars, and likewise if you use a Dart type with um, special moves. Also works against Miracle. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty specific. Oh, interesting. Alright, so I'll put Ken over here. So, it also has Destiny Bond as like a large ditch effort, basically. That's how I view it. But anyway, over here, you can see this. This translates to... I can translate this, because it's only three letters. This translates to C, U, yeah, U, and T, cut. So, we're going to need cut. That's fine. Now I can s uh, finally finish talking about Wobbuffet. Anyway. So yeah, basically Wobbuffet, I guess to summarize, Wobbuffet, it traps you, then if you're unable to take it out, it will try to kill you with its counter moves, and it's very likely to do so if you don't have a super effective move, or if you don't have those specific checks to it that I mentioned. And yeah, there's a few things that this caused. One, Wobbuffet was banned from OU in this generation for two reasons. One, it has no counters because you can't switch out against it. And the second thing is if two war effects with leftovers face each other, it becomes a stalemate and an endless battle because the leftovers heal more damage than the struggle does. So yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh wait, Bernie for now. So yeah, that's fun. <laughs> and also, yeah, why not? One of its moves it gets is Encore, and that's actually a really good move for Wobbuffet. As it turns out, it's actually with Shadow Tag. And yeah, Shadow Tag has always been like something very controversial. Especially when other Pokemon got it too, like Goth and Tell. But anyway, what Mega again got? <laughs> But yeah, why did I sound like... You might be wondering why I sounded the way I did when I was describing Wobbuffet 2. Wobbuffet's probably one of my least favorite Pokemon to fight, which is why I don't really like it that much, let's just say. Um, I think mm, some other people might share that opinion too. But yeah, basically it's the bane in any Nuzlocke, and also... <laughs> uh, in some... I don't have very good memories of finding it in some battle facilities either, let's just say. So yeah, uh, probably my least favorite Pokemon to actually go up against, even if it's not even that strong in some circumstances. Because yeah, nowadays, it's a lot easier to take down because yeah, there's a lot of more counters to it. And yeah, its bulk might not be enough to take on Power Creep, so yeah. Yeah, that's what with it. And yeah, that's a Pokemon I... yeah... I don't know if I was looking forward to talking about it or not, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> Shadow Attack does have its uses. Roaming Pokemon cannot escape, and what if it does have some bulk, I guess? Especially if it's higher level than what's... That's fine, so yeah, I can track the Roamer, although in this game I'd be very careful about that, which I'll go into later. Anyway, so now we have Cut, so we want to use it here. I left it door alone. <laughs> and we have the door. I'm curious to see what's around here with Surf. Nothing, alright. Let's just go in here. We get the Dotted Hole. Very strange name for a dungeon. 
they are basically how this place works, there are holes. But also more braille. Uh, but here it's pretty easy to translate, not only because um, uh, it's only two letters. Um, also, let me check if there's any random cars. I don't think there are, but... We can double check. A dotted hole, no random encounters, so that's good. So yeah, let's go back to the braille. So yeah, this is a U and P, so up. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it's pretty easy to decipher even without this, because yeah, you can just tell by the amount of letters. I mean, even the first word. Here, the first letter's L, so yeah, that means left. And over here, this is 5, so that probably means right, and the first is R, so yeah, let's do that. Here it's 4 letters, and it starts with D, so down. Process elimination, I guess. Anyway, here we get the Sapphire. See what they did there? <laughs> what this guy said? <laughs> I guessed right, I was right in tailing you. I knew that there was a Sapphire, so it belongs to me. I'll set a Team Rocket for serious money. Don't glare me like that. If you want it back, why don't you go after it? I go after it after I sell it. I'll even tell you one of, t one of the passes to Team Rocket's warehouse. The warehouse passes it I know is Yena Chansey. Again, it's like backwards of the Pokemon's name. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. So yeah, now we need to chase after him. And yeah, you couldn't translate this, but yeah, it's long and I don't like doing that. <laughs> I guess I could write... I guess what I should have done when I saw the first one was maybe just a write down while I was translating. That would have been a lot better, but anyway. So yeah, now we have our objective. We need to go back to Five Island. And go to the Rocket Warehouse. So yeah, that'll be good for this episode. So next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we're gonna storm Team Rocket's warehouse. And take them out, hopefully and recover the sapphire so it can help Celio. So I'll see you guys again for that, as I uh, do stuff in my box and stuff. <laughs>